I was talking to a guy who was gaffing cables down here, and you know, these guys spent nine hours lifting all this lighting rig and moving in PA and motors and semis. And I, I thought of the, the, the lady in the Bible that broke open this precious oil. It's like we're going to all this effort not to put on a show, but to give our very, very best offering to the Lord. You know? We're learning these songs. But the problem is, there's a lot of songs. Just singers, why don't you grab uh, a piece called The Battle is the Lord's and gather around the old piano? You don't think about it in terms of, oh no, I got two days to learn all this music. You just somehow, I guess if you thought about it that way, it'd be pretty frightening, actually. <laughs> Basically, you just get so supercharged doing it that it just makes it all worthwhile. You know? Even in the last two days since we've been working, I've, I've really sensed the power of God in what we're doing. I hope that God touches him, man. I mean, that's my cry, really. Yeah. We are just going through through the process right now of rehearsing and the lighting and this and that and it's powerful at the same time. It's a lot of joy, you know, and I mean, His presence is already here. But when more people are here, even more angels are going to be here, you know, so it's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to this. What's special about these projects to me, I think coming from, from South Africa where things are perceived to be very, very stark and, and very different to the rest of the world, that the Spirit of, of the Lord is the same. The Spirit of, of, of what God is doing across, across the planet is the same. At the foot of His throne, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what race or color or creed. Well, we're expecting over 4,000 people and I believe the atmosphere will be pretty electric in terms of their anticipation for uh, what the Lord will do. It's going to be a wonderful time. God has really put it all together. I mean, pulling, what, 40 people on stage together. And, uh, but God's done it. It's going to be good. We'll bring up camera seven. The image ran, unfortunately. You've got to teach it. There's some to the right or the left. It's, it's fairly filthy. I don't consider myself uh, a performer or an entertainer. Uh, that's not where my heart is. My heart is that of a worshiper. And more than anything, we just want God to be pleased. And that's, I think that's the heart of everybody that's involved, all of the singers, all of the musicians. That's their heart is to, to bring people into the presence of the Lord through worship and praise through music.
out tonight, we want to start out with a clap offering unto the Lord. You think you can do that? Psalms 47 says, clap your hands, all you people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Now, we realize that clapping your hands can be a struggle for some people. I've experienced that. I know what I'm talking about. But now, for those of you who are, let's say, rookies or amateur hand clappers, we'd like for you to just stay right with what you're doing right there. Amen? But now we also want to acknowledge some of the really sophisticated hand clappers. How many sophisticated hand clappers do we have in this room? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to gonna go through a series of rhythms, and I'm going to clap it and you answer, okay? Can you do that? Are you ready, singers? You ready, choir? You ready, band? <laughs> All right, here we go. In Spanish. My inheritance is 
the blood and give him sight. Oh, ladies, sing for the Lord, sing for the Lord. confident that God will perform an awesome work in each and every one of our lives. And His promise is to do it not by might, or not by power, but by His Spirit, says the Lord. Power! 
familiar as worshipers and as praises and obviously that's who we have in the house tonight those who understand the the the, the power of praise and hallelujah <laughs> you want to see the presence of the Lord in this place tonight glory to God so most of you are familiar with the story of King Jehoshaphat in second chronicles chapter 20 and how the when the enemy came against King Jehoshaphat, the Lord told him to send the singers and the musicians out ahead of the army. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we've got some singers and some musicians that will go out in front of an army tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Because the battle is the Lord's. The battle must be won in the spirit first, and then it will manifest itself in the natural. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. The battle is the Lord.
it means so much to me long before spiritual warfare was ever a legitimate term in the body of Christ I remember as I was growing up as a little boy in Coffeyville, Kansas any of you know where that is don't worry about it and I remember we were we were a poor family five brothers and my mother was a single parent well not exactly a single parent we just had a non-resident father yeah and we would come up against some difficult times but it seems like my mother always had a song and most of those songs I had no idea what they meant you know when I was seven eight years old we would go to church and she'd put us all 
on the row at Union Baptist Church. All six of us. And we sing songs like, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine, you know. And uh, at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. We sing songs like, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. And you'd ask, we'd ask questions like, Mama, what's a wretch? Are you a wretch, Mama? She says, shut up and sing, boy. <laughs> Sometimes when we would be up against difficult situations, difficult things, you know, like the house note being paid and food in the house and things like that. But she could always come up with a song. I see. Because I'm happy. I sing. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. Oh, and I know, yes, I know, no matter what the bank book might say, I know. No matter what people say about me, I know. No matter how hard the devil tries to knock me down, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. He's watching over me. To the Lord, make the joyful sound. Lift your voices and let your praise resound. Sing a victory song in the time of war. Just in Jesus. Sing to the Lord.
Hallelujah! 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 Oh, give the Lord another shout of praise. Yeah. about Daniel and the lion's den It didn't look too good but Daniel put his trust in him Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego When the flames grew hot, they, grew hot. they just put their trust in God and he would not let them go Oh yes God is able God is able My God is able Yes, he is able. He could do what he said he would do. My God is able. God is able. Yes, he is. God is able. He can do what he said he'd do. I think about Israel and the Exodus. Pharaoh sent his men, but God showed his faithfulness. So if you think you're in a trial by fire When the flames grow hot, they go hot You just put your trust in God And He'll never let you go oh, no. God is able God is able oh, God is able God is able He's able God is able He can do what He said He would do My oh, God is able God is able If you ought to try Him Cause he's able. God is able. He can do what he said he do. He can lift you up when trials come your way. He can give you peace down in your soul. He is always true. He'll be there for you. Will you believe him? Will you receive? Can do what he said. Oh, God is able. 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 Well, I can testify If you call on him You won't be denied His ear is not deaf And his arm is not sharp He'll give you what you need So why don't you get smart Put your trust in him He can make a way He'll walk right beside you Each and every day To put money in your pocket And food on your table I'm telling you what I know God is able Love and kindness. 
Lord, I'm willing to trust in you. So take my life, Lord, and use it too. Yes, if you can use anything. 
giant fell He proved to his people that God was alive in Israel Lord I'm available to you and I'm wanting to be you Yes I am Lord If you can use anything Lord come on and use me Jesus said He took two fish and five loaves and the multitude was fed Lord what I have may not be much but I know it can multiply by your touch so if you can use anything Lord come on and use me yes Lord
that hid its face. All the men that walked with him had turned and run away. They crucified our Savior and laid him in a tomb. The life that once brought love and hope slipped away that afternoon. Satan gleamed with pleasure that day at Calvary. For he thought he had won a mighty victory. And like him, all of the demons of hell began to cheer. <laughs> Ooh, but little did they know.
Yes to your love. Yes to hope. Yes to your power. Yes to your strength. 